right. So if you have read and understood considering it's surgical and obfuscation, kindly tell me what are you looking at? If you can identify the structures from A to F in the left hand side diagram. Mm -hmm. A is the anterior cerebral. A uh, is the middle cerebral artery. B. Uh, B is the internal carotid. C. C is the ophthalmic item, ophthalmic artery. D. D is the anterior cerebral. E. E. Yeah, I'm not sure, ma'am. Okay, F. F is also anterior cerebral item. What kind of image is this that you're looking at? That's the arteriogram of the Cerebral right. Arteriogram. Okay, on the right hand side, if you can identify structure A. A is the... A, All right, B. B. B is the internal carotid. C. C is also internal carotid. D. D is the middle uh, cerebral line. Middle cerebral. shape. Okay, E. Yes. E, e is, is also internal carotid. Okay, can you tell me, can you please tell me how circle of wheels is formed? Yes, yeah, circle of wheels is formed mainly by the Contribution of the internal carotid artery, uh, which gives uh, the middle cerebral, the anterior, anterior cerebral, and, the, uh, and also the posterior cerebral. The anterior cerebral are connected by the anterior communicating posterior cerebral and the uh, middle cerebral by the posterior communicating artery. Can you please tell me uh, which vertebral artery and the basilar artery supply the brain? Uh, the vertebral visceral, visceral circulation supplies mainly the cerebellum, the brain stem, the, uh, cere the cerebral uh, occipital cortex, and the thalamus. Can you, would you be able to tell me the course of the vertebral artery? Yes, the vertebral artery it arises from the first part of subclavian artery. It traverses through the upper six. Uh, the transverse foramen of upper six uh, cervical vertebra, then it uh, passes behind the posterior arch of the first cervical vertebra. Then it enters to the foramen magnum, and then uh, in the in the it passes upward, forward immediately in the subarachnoid space to reach the anterior aspect of the medulla oblongata, and then they unite. It unites with the uh, oppo opposite vertebral artery. To, at the lower border of the pons to form the vasilar artery. Very good. Okay, can you identify these structures from A to E? Would you be able to? Mm. Well, I will come to that at the end. If you can look at this yes. and identify these structures from A to F, can you please? Yes, A is the internal carotid. B is the anterior communicating, C is the anterior cerebral, D is the middle cerebral, E is the basilar, F is the posterior communicating artery. All right. And then this one, this arrow is pointing at something. Can you identify, please? Yes, it is pointing at left, left middle, uh, sorry, right middle cerebral. Okay, can you please tell me if there is infarct of MCA, cerebral artery, how would, what are the signs with which patient will present? MCA infarct, uh, it can present with the upper motor neuron lesion of facial nerve on yes. the contralateral side mm. and uh, contralateral hemiplegia of upper yes. and lower extremities yes. and aphasia if it involves the dominant hemisphere. All right, good. Can you please tell me this uh, 
which branch is given out given off before uh, ACA and MCA anterior cerebral and middle cerebral arteries. Opthal ophthalmic. Yes, ophthalmic. Okay. And uh, when there is rupture of barrier aneurysm, then what is the condition called? Uh, it will lead to subarachnoid hemorrhage. Okay, can you be, would you be able to recognize this? And here, one, two, three, and four structures you have to identify, please. This one uh, is? That is the anterior cerebral light. This is anterior. Middle cerebral. Okay. This is anterior cerebral. Anterior cerebral. Yes. What is this? That is the internal gadget. Yes. And what is this last one? Uh, MCA from the other side. Okay. Can you tell me, yes, the course of internal carotid artery? Yes. Uh, yes, internal carotid artery, it uh, uh, it uh, comes originates from the common carotid artery, it bifurcates at the level of uh, cervical four vertebra, and that it uh, enters to the uh, carotid canal. And then it is, uh, after it uh, enters to carotid canal, then it uh, uh, is related to the foramen nasrum, and aspect, then it, uh, it, uh, it, uh, this gives off branches and artery, it gives branches. off how many branches before mm -hmm. it enters the skull? Uh, it has no branches in the neck okay. Okay. before it enters if the skull. If you can tell me common carotid artery, uh, at what level it bifurcates? At the level of C4. Okay. Can you tell me the location of common sinus in the skull? Yes, Governor Sinus, it is located on either side of the cella tarsica. Okay. If you in can, the middle cranial fossa. Okay, if you can tell me the for, uh, about the foramen transversum. How the yes, foramen transversum. Through, yes. Yes, foramen transversum, it is the foramen in the transverse process of the cervical uh, verte vertebra. And the uh, this transmits the uh, vertebral artery, the upper six cervical vertebra. Okay. What are the conditions in which carotid angiogram is recommended or indicated? Uh, uh, carotid angiogram we can do in a patient with the stroke to rule out the origin or in case of uh, carotid. Uh... Yes, one is stroke. Other okay. think there could if be they have any aneurysm. Yes. Okay, aneurysm. How would the patient present with aneurysm? Maybe if it's aneurysm. Very aneurysm, hardly, patient, it's always patient. accidental finding. No yes, character. this doesn't work. You'll, uh, you'll find out. You'll tell me tomorrow. Right. Okay. okay.